I want to run through an example with you guys of PC relative addressing. I'm going to assume that you've already seen the office hours and you have a pretty good idea at this point what a label is and mostly understand what the role of the assembler is. Remember that with a two-pass assembler, the first thing the assembler does is it goes through this code here line by line and it looks for any labels that exist in the code. So we have a label here in our branch on equal called end and we have a label here when we do a jump to the loop label, which is up here. So as the assembler comes through, the first thing it's going to do is build a symbol table and it's going to associate each of these labels with their corresponding address. So we see here that this label called loop is really just a placeholder for the memory address hex 4 and this label end is just a label for the memory address hex 18. So the symbol table just looks simply like this. But the question we want to understand is when the assembler comes through and actually assembles the instructions that use these labels, so this instruction here at memory location 8 and the instruction here at hex 14, how does it take that label and then convert it into an address that is so-called PC relative? Well, think about first what the PC means. The program counter keeps track of the address of the instruction that is currently being executed. So when we're performing the add immediate instruction here, the PC points to this memory location, hex zero. Halfway through the add instruction, the PC gets incremented to point to the next instruction, which exists here at memory location four, which is also the next add immediate, and so on and so forth, and it gets incremented for each instruction in our program. When we're here at the BEQ instruction, uh, PC will hold a value of hex eight. PC is 8. And so we need a way to get from a PC of 8, and the branch of equal takes us to the end label, so we need a way to get from uh, the memory location 8 to this hex 18 right here, which is memory location 24 if you want to think of it that way in decimal. And the way the assembler does this using PC relative addressing, remember the I type instruction there's a 16-bit immediate offset for the memory address uh, for BEQ. So what we need to do is figure out a way to jump from hex 8 to hex 18. And the way that the I-type instruction does that, if you look on the green sheet, you'll see that it mentions PC gets set to PC plus 4 plus a branch address, which I'll just call BR. So it means take the current PC, which is a hex 8. It's going to get incremented to point to the next instruction. So in this case, this 4 is in bytes, so plus a hex 4. And if we just stop right there and think about what this means, right? if we have hex 8 is where the PC is pointing currently, PC plus 4 is going to point to the very next instruction. So PC is going to be pointing right here. And now we have to add on our branch address. Well, if we're currently at hex C, and recall that we need to get down here to the end label, which is at hex 18. Notice that that means we need to jump forward one, two, three instructions. And since each instruction in MIPS is word aligned, it's 32 bits long, jumping three instructions is the same thing as jumping three words. So in this case, um, in order to jump three words, well, think about what that means in bytes. If every word is four bytes and we need to jump ahead um, by three words, four times three is 12. So if we add a hex C to this, okay, we can think of this as being uh, eight in decimal plus a four in decimal plus 12. So eight plus four is 12. 12 plus 12, this is equal to 24 bytes in base 10. But what the assembler is actually going to store uh, here is just the number of words needed to get from PC plus 4 to the label we're trying to get to, which is here. 
And so we said that that was three instructions or three words. So the assembler is actually going to substitute the label end with a three. Okay, so what is, it gonna, what is the processor going to do when it sees this three? How does it compute the PC relative address? As this program is running, it's going to take the current value of the PC. So the processor sees, okay, well, PC is currently a hex 8. And then by definition of the I-type instruction, it's then going to add 4 to it. So it's going to be plus a hex 4. Then the processor is going to see this 3 here. And the processor knows that this 3 is in words. So if we think of the 3 in binary, right, it looks like this. Right, 0, 1, 1, that's our 3. So what the processor will do, it needs to multiply this number by 4 so that it can get the number of bytes instead of the number of words in the offset. That's the same thing as shifting this number here in binary. It's the same thing as shifting it 2 bits to the left. So if we shift it 2 bits to the left, that means that we get two zeros here. And now you can see, instead of being 3, right, this is a 4 and an 8 in binary, so this is equal to 12 in base 10. So now that it knows the offset is 12, it's going to add this in here. It's going to do a hex C. And it's going to add those three things together. So again, this is the PC plus 4 plus the branch address that it converted to bytes. So this was given in words by the assembler. The, the processor will take this, shift it two to the left, uh, so to convert words into bytes. So then we add 12 to it, which is the number of bytes. And so once again, as we saw down here, this comes out to be a 24 base 10. And if you want to convert that to hex, that's the same thing as a hex 18. So once the CPU has this, this is the actual location that we want to branch to. And it kind of makes sense when you look at it here, you see that the end label actually points to memory address hex 18. And that's the address of this next instruction here, some, some arbitrary instruction. So when it becomes the case that the value inside of register T0 is equal to the value inside of register T1, it will take the branch to the address that it computed, and that's going to take us down here. And so the name PC relative comes from the fact that we use the current PC, which was 8, where we add 4 to it, we increment the PC to point to the next instruction. And then we add the offset necessary to get to this final memory location that our end label points to. So it's a fairly quick rundown, but hopefully it gives you a little bit of an understanding about how PC relative addressing works. Uh, the best way to think of this number here, again, the assembler is going to represent this number in words, or you can also think of that as instructions. And so since the I type says take the current PC, which is 8, add 4 to it, which points to the next instruction, when we take this number of instructions and convert it to bytes, it's going to jump ahead three instructions, and it's going to put us at the end label, which is exactly where we want it to be.